Cool TV proudly presents Kentucky Christian University Basketball as the Cool Hit Sports Network brings you coverage of the KCU Knights live from Grayson, Kentucky. Now let's head to Ron Arnett Court for Countdown to Tip-Off and KCU Basketball live on Cool TV. And a pleasant good afternoon as we welcome you back here to Kentucky Christian University, Ron Arnett Court. For those of you who have joined us from the women's game, the TMU Bears victorious 64-57 over the Knights. The Bears try to go for the sweep here in the second game of the men and women's doubleheader as we got a good one on tap here as TMU comes in at 7-9, 5-7 on the conference slate. They've uh, been in the midst of a losing streak, though. They've lost their last four, including 82-73 last time out against Reinhardt. For KCU, they fell last time out, 84-75 to Bryan, Tennessee. They've lost, um, that was their first loss uh, after they'd won their last game. 5-10 on the season, 3-8 in conference action. So our good one here today is both of these teams trying to pick up a little bit of pace there in the bottom half of the conference standings to uh, as we get ready to kind of settle in for about the last half of the or last month of the year as the uh, season has really drifted away from us so quickly. But a good one here for this afternoon to close things out on this doubleheader. The Bears and the Knights, our coverage will continue after this in pregame coverage. I count down to tip off on Cool TV. Rev up your autumn adventure and refuel at Clark's Pump and Shop. Make a pit stop and treat yourself to our assortment of snacks and drinks. Clark's Pump and Shop has the perfect treats to satisfy your fall cravings. From our seasonal lattes and iced coffees to specialty donuts and desserts. Don't just fuel up your vehicle, fuel your taste buds at Clark's Pump and Shop, your ultimate road companion. Clark's Pump and Shop. Return, refresh, refuel. If you're looking for a complete discount pharmacy with old-fashioned service and excellent prices, look no more. Since 1979, Stultz Pharmacy has provided our area with the finest in pharmacy care, 24-hour emergency prescription service, free delivery, and drive through service for prescriptions. Stultz Pharmacy continues to fill all of your expectations. And they carry a nice selection of gift items. For hometown service, see the professionals at Stultz Pharmacy in Greenup. More than you expect from a pharmacy. Stultz Pharmacy. River Cities Builders is a licensed general contractor specializing in commercial and industrial projects, and they have a history and reputation of providing top-notch expertise through their experienced and devoted workforce. River Cities Builders also is a gas facility maintenance company offering petroleum equipment maintenance and EMV-compliant upgrades for smart payment terminals, and they offer 24 hours, 7 days a week emergency service. Call 606-473-4112 or visit River Cities buildersinc.com when you have business away from home or a planned event far from your comfort zone, you're probably going to need a little help. Let a and Porta Potties assist you with all your portable toilet needs. Whether on a construction site, planning for an outdoor wedding, or any other outdoor event, a and Porta Potties are here to assist you. a and Porta Potties also rents out storage containers, office containers, cooling fans, tables, and chairs. a and Porta Potties, there is no event too big or too small for us to accommodate you. Back here in pregame coverage on Cool TV. Let's take a look at the visitors on the scoreboard. Truett McConnell. As they come in with a record of 7-9 and nine on the season. In the midst of a four-game losing streak. Their last win. Excuse me, a five-game losing streak. Their, their stats were wrong. I went off of the stat sheet. That's what I get for putting off the stat sheet. They haven't won since beating St. Andrews 85-78. That just so happens is the last win KCU had. They've lost to Point CIU, North Carolina Central in an exhibition game. I guess that's why they're not calling it an actual loss because it was an exhibition game. There we go. Johnson University and Reinhardt. Uh, they lost to Reinhardt 82-73. Fell 78-68 to Johnson. For KCU, last time out, a loss to Brian, 84-75. 
D'Angelo Stock still 22 points, six rebounds in that game. Lamar Northington, eight points, 11 rebounds. Race to board dropped in 13. And Jaden Lloyd added 13. So pretty comparable across the board when you look at these two teams, the way they match up. This one should be a dandy for sure, to say the least. We'll take a break. When we come back, we'll look at our numbers, get our starting lineups, get you ready for tip-off. The Bears and the Knights here at the second game of the Men and Women's Doubleheader on Cool TV. At First National Bank, we strive to make every person that walks through our doors feel like family. Because to us, you are. For over 120 years, we have lived in and served the families of Kentucky with genuine care through the good times and the bad. Come and see the difference banking with family can truly make for you at any of our seven locations or visit our website at www.fnbgrayson.com. First National Bank, member FDIC. When you want real, authentic Mexican menu items, you want Tres Hermanos Nunez. Accept no substitutes. None compares. Fajitas, tacos, burritos, quesadillas, chimichangas, even vegetarian choices. A kid's menu, desserts, and salads, a tasty, budget-pleasing selection for you and your family, unlike any others, should be your first and only choice for authentic Mexican all throughout the tri-state. Ashland, Greenham, Grayson, Paintsville, Canova, South Point, Olive Hill, and Cannonsburg. Tres Hermanos Nunez, the best around. Kentucky Christian University is a private, nonprofit university located in the beautiful foothills of Eastern Kentucky in Grayson. KCU offers both undergraduate and graduate programs, including the Teacher Leader Master of Arts in Education degree. They also have an array of competitive sports. Kentucky Christian University is committed to focusing on Christ while helping students build character and prepare for their future careers. Visit kcu.edu to learn more or to schedule a visit to campus. Not only is State Senator Robin Webb proud to support and congratulate our youth in all their endeavors in and out of the classroom, but your State Senator Robin Webb is also proud to support and work for all the adults in her district. Robin Webb strives to put forth the best for youth and adults alike. Whether it's in Frankfurt or here at home in her district, know that Robin Webb puts you first in all of her decisions she makes. State Senator Robin Webb drives harder every day to make Kentucky a better place to work, live, and have fun. Back here in pregame coverage. Let's take a look at our numbers for this game as you look at how they go across the board. Drew McConnell, a much better shooting team statistically inside the three-point line, 47% to 41%, both right around that 31% mark from beyond the arc. Drew McConnell shoots the free throws tremendously better, 76.9 to 59.8. Rebounding pretty much the same across the board. 32.9, 31.5 for KCU. Uh, I'd like to see a big afternoon out of D'Angelo Stocksteel. And Mr. Stocksteel, who is tuned in with us here on Cool TV up in Easter, Michigan. I have to wonder, too, what's the weather like up there? We're hearing about all that weather up north. Uh, how much snow have you guys rocked in? Uh, we've got nothing but wind and snow flurries here in Grayson. But, again, if you're tuned in with us on the stream here on Cool TV, uh, Drop me a message there in the message box. Let me know where you're tuned in from. I'll give you a shout-out throughout the afternoon here on the air. The other thing, too, first time here with us on Cool TV, hit that subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up if you see something you like. Hit that bell. Uh, it'll alert you each time that we have new material coming out right here on your exclusive home for night's athletics, Cool TV. When I look at the way this breaks down, D'Angelo Stocksteel, He's the guy that I think is on the verge of a big game. He's got so many intangibles. And with the return of Caleb Raymer, that um, has really given them some size on the floor. Raymer at 6'6", Stocksteel at 6'7". That allows them to go play big. And that opens up a lot for those guards that have been able to do so much out on the floor. When you look at the visiting Bears, K.J. Riley, the... 6'4 guard, averaging nearly 15 a game. He and E.J. Smith kind of pace where this stuff goes. And then Jaden Ye, the freshman out of Cleveland, Georgia, all three of those average double figures. But none of their bigs, by say, do a lot. This is a guard-heavy team, and that's really how they, they play through. And that loss to Reinhardt 
Corey Seats, or Seitz, excuse me. He's uh, averaging nine points a game at six foot eight, 14 points, no rebounds though. And it's again, that's odd. And a young young man, at six foot eight, and no rebounds in a basketball game of four, 14 points. Only had one personal foul. So it makes you kind of wonder where he was playing in that basketball game, how far away from the rim, whatever. But uh, Jordan Ye, or Jaden Ye, excuse me, 11 points, five assists. They were the only two players in double figures. So both teams going through their final warm-ups. And we talked about D'Angelo Stocksteel and that loss to Brian, 84-75. 22 points, six rebounds. Lamar Northington, eight points and 11 boards. But um, they were out-rebounded only by two in that game, 31 to 29. But they shot the basketball 50.8%. There's not many nights that you shoot the basketball a north of 50% and lose. They were perfect from the free throw line, uh, nine of nine. Big number though that jumps out at me here as I look at that box score, 16 turnovers to nine on the other side. And that'll get you any single night. All right, let's visit the scoreboard and the starting lineups for the visiting True McConnell Bears. Head coach John Ye. It'll look like this. Three guards and two forwards. Starting first in the backcourt is a six foot two senior out of Atlanta, Georgia. Number two is EJ Smith. He's joined in the backcourt by a six four senior from Greenville, Mississippi. Number five, KJ Riley. Rounding things out in the backcourt is the Frosh out of Cleveland, Georgia. Number 14, Jaden Ye. In the front court. It will look like this. In the back court, or the front court, excuse me, six foot four graduate out of Miami, Florida, number 10, CJ Brown. And 6'8", senior from Cummings, Georgia, number 33, Corey Seitz. So, Smith, Riley, Brown, Ye, and Seitz. And we'll make sure on this last name, too. It is sites. Okay. I wanted to verify because I accidentally said it twice there, and I said it different both ways, not meaning to, but sites was what I was thinking. I wanted to verify. All right, here's your starting lineup for the KC Knights. Head coach Charlie Pack. Three guards in the backcourt. Starting things off, 5'8 freshman out of Lake Wales, Florida, number zero, Jaden Lloyd. He's joined there by the 6'2 Frosh out of Hoptown and University Heights, number 11, Lamar Northington. Running things down out of Ashland, 6'1 freshman, number 21 race to board. In the front court, six foot redshirt sophomore from Inkster, Michigan, number 10, D'Angelo Stocksteel. Rounding things out, 6'6 junior out of Massac County, Illinois, number 13, Caleb Reamer. Lloyd Northington to board, Stocksteel and Reamer, five on the floor for the night. Your officiating crew for this afternoon's game Bradley Medley, Tony Gray, and Chuck. Evans. Casey, you in the uh, gray jerseys today, the red and black pinstripes. Bears in the Michigan colors, the kind of the yellow, the gold colors with the blue outline. Mr. Gray appreciated that one. He gives us the thumbs up. He'll step in and get this one underway. Stockstill and Riley will send it up. In case you'll work it right to left on your screen as we view it, balls in the air. It was in quickly. Stock still just corralled it right back down, but there was nobody there to grab it for KCU. And EJ Smith finishes off the window, and quickly the Bears jump out 2 nothing. Man to man defense being applied by the Bears. Stock still in the key, who hands it off there to Lloyd. The board tried to feed it inside the Stock still and had that and raked away. Shot.
Shot won't fall. Lloyd in transition off to Stockstill with a finger roll to finish. D'Angelo Stockstill. We're even at two. For Sites. Yay wants to feed it inside, and it's out of bounds. Take a look at that last replay there. Stock still, just glides to the rim. One minute gone here in the opening period. Northington off to Lloyd. Lloyd feeds it inside to Stock still, and he's out of bounds. Nice friendly gesture there by E.J. Smith as he brings Stocksteel back to his feet. There's Smith, pitches it off there to Brown. Now sides between the rings. Riley slams on the brakes in traffic as he's tied up there by Northington. And Northington picks up the foul, his first team's first of, of the half, excuse me. So KJ Riley to the free throw line to shoot two. 81.5% free throw shooter. Averaging 14, 4, and 5.9 rebounds a game. First one's too stiff. Must have heard me talking about him. Second one's on the way. He knew that one was good when it left his fingertips. 3-2, Bears in front. Here's Northington off to Lloyd, right side. DeBoard, 17 on the shot clock. DeBoard wants to pull up in, knock it home. Nice in front by one. Here's Jay. Between the ring, Smith. Smith, straightaway three, too stiff. Raymer with a rebound on the baseline. Here come the Knights leading 4 3. Northington gets in the lane. What a move there by Lamar Northington. Here's a Grayson Sporting Goods instant replay look on that one. Just knifes his way right to the basket and a quick finish. Back to live action here on your screen. Stocksteel knocks this one loose. That ball's loose. Stocksteel comes away with it. Ahead, Northington spins, finishes, count it. A couple of instant replays there by Lamar Northington. That started off by Stocksteel. And what a finish there by Lamar Northington with that spin move. 8 3 Knights in front by five. Smith takes a handoff, goes right at race to board. Yay. Long three out of the corner, no good. Lloyd with the rebound, here come the Knights. They want to run. Raymer, back to Lloyd in between the rings. Stock steal from way out, way on the wing, and finishes. Nice take there by Stock steal. He's got four in the lead of seven. Knights running here quickly. They're perfect from the field. Here's Sites inside, trying to size up on Stock steal. Hook shot up, and no. Stock still tries to fight for it. It was tipped out of bounds. It'll stay with KCU, as they'll say Brown touched it last. So we got, uh, that is Kobe Gray checking in. Couldn't see his number, he wouldn't turn around. Here's Avil Covington checking in. Senior out of Athens, Georgia. Great start for the Knights. They're perfect from the field. Five of five. Drew McConnell, one of five. Gray running the point. Brings it near side. Northington as he replaces Lloyd. And off Gray. Gets a screen from Stock. Still trying to run that little pick and row. Raymer wants a three. Left a point. In and out. Good look. Couldn't get it to stay home. Covington takes the pitch. Left side, sides between the rings. 
Now Brown wants to attack, goes right to Stockstill, steps through and finishes, and one. And a chance at a three-point play for C.J. Brown. Fouls on D'Angelo Stockstill, his first, team second of the half. 16.04 to play here in the first half, 10-5. Brown a 56.1% free throw shooter, averaging nine points, three rebounds a game. In and out, no good. Rebound won't go back up on the tip back. Raymer with a rebound, DeBoard wants to run. Does not have numbers, he'll slow it down. Here's Stockstill, what a spin move and a finish by D'Angelo. He's got six, the lead seven. I said before game in the pregame, I could feel Mr. Stockstill having a big game coming. He's well on his way here. Sites wants to attack the rim and does so. Thought about going up for the dunk, a little clutch pump there, and finishes in traffic. Five-point lead for the Knights with the basketball. Here's Stockstill, stops and finishes. That's what I've talked with Coach Charlie Pack so much about Stockstill, is he has guard hands with a with a forward body and that right there you could see it of just knowing when to stop and be soft here he gets another rebound has that one raked out of his hands trying to save it and as cj brown made the diving effort his foot was out of bounds so it'll go back to kcu five minutes gone here in the opening half it's been all kcu they're seven of eight from the from the field the only miss they had was that Raymer three, a couple of trips ago. They've taken, one of the reasons they're seven of eight because they've had some really high percentage shots. Northington, spin around, jumper, no. Riley cleans the window off and then throws it out of bounds. As John Yates looks at him and says, slow things down. Tenth year head coach, he's had a lot of success at Truett McConnell. 21-22 was his signature year. Going over 20 wins. Here's a give to Stockstill. Spin move, finger roll, yes. 10 points for Stockstill. 16 to seven. Take a look at this little dish and dime there on the pick and roll. That even got my cameraman before he could move. He's fired. Jeez, oh Pete, one job, follow the ball. Can't get anybody to do good work anymore. Yeah, he wants a three, left side, no. Stock still, a big rebound. Here come the Knights, a chance to push it to double digits on this trip. Race to board, off the window, no. Tip back, Northington, it's good. Lamar Northington with six, the lead is 11. It's a track meet. And we got a timeout. As John Ye will burn the timeout. As Trip McConnell will burn their first time out of the basketball game, trailing 18 to seven with 13.56 to go here in the opening half of play. Well, we were talking in the break here a moment ago. I asked Mr. Stockstill, I said, how much snow, if anything, you've gotten up there in Inkster, Michigan? He said, right now it's freezing around 20 degrees and about four inches of snow and then freezing rain. You can keep the freezing rain. I'll, uh, I'll take the snow, bottle some of that stuff up and ship it to Grayson. Um, I, I visit Michigan frequently in the summer. I, I go up to Lake St. Clair, the south side of Detroit, so I'm not certain where Inkster is, but I'm going to have to look it up when I make my trip up there starting in May and June. But uh, I know right now it is frigid up there. Um, talking about some games tonight, football. In the NFL, you're looking at minus four in the kickoff for the Chiefs and the Dolphins, 30 to 40 degree negative wind chills. The Buffalo game tomorrow against Pittsburgh has been moved until Monday because they're still trying to dig out the stadium. And they've got more snow coming, and they said it was just a public health hazard to have people out in this storm. Yet here in Kentucky, we can't get a glimmer of hope for some snow. Anyways, back underway. Yay, working on DeBoard. Fade away, that one was blocked. They'll say DeBoard got him on the way up. His first, team's third. You know, my apologies for the voice today. I am uh, battling laryngitis. I've been battling it for the last week. 
So between laryngitis and a sinus infection, it's, uh, it's been a fun trip as Jaden Yeh steps to the line for two. Yeh, an 85% free throw shooter. Freshman out of Cleveland, Georgia. Strokes them both, and right there shows you why he's an 85% free throw shooter. Those looked effortlessly. Colby Gray. Here's Eric Sanders, his first action today. Nearly ball picked off there. Northington out of the corner. Ten on the shot clock. To board. Gets in the lane. Out to the corner. Northington spot up three on the way. No. Kanan Wright, who comes in on that timeout, checks in and picks up the rebound. In transition. Brown saves it on the baseline. Out of the corner. Wright working on Stocksteel. Tries to attack. Up and under reverse scoop shot is good. The junior out of St. Cloud, Florida, finishes. And a 30-second timeout requested by KCU, their first. It's 18 to 11, 12.48 to play here in the opening half. KCU 9 of 13 from the field, 69.2%. Hit their first five shots. Four of 11 are the Bears. Both teams have missed all three pointers they've attempted. The Bears three, KCU with two. Bears with four turnovers, KCU with three. KCU have turned into four, those four turnovers to four points. Rebounds favoring the Knights, seven to four. D'Angelo Stock still perfect from the field, 10 points, three rebounds. Lamar North even a cool six. Back underway, to board, kicks it ahead, Sanders. Sanders going to attack. Has it raked out of his hands. A good steal there by Wright. He's got numbers as he pushes it ahead. Tries to split the defense, and it's stolen away by Colby Gray. Gray feeds it off to Northington. Northington goes up, has it blocked. Wright diving on the floor, and then tries to tip it to his near side. That was Arias Ortega, and it goes out of bounds. So the Knights will maintain possession up seven. Helter Skelter there. It looked like uh, players chasing a grease pig at a county fair. Here's Stocksteel, hand off to Gray. Long three on the way, Colby Gray, no. Arias Ortega with a rebound on the baseline. He'll bring it ahead, down seven. So we approach the 12-minute mark here to play in the first half. And then Gray gets called for the bump foul on the far sideline, his first team's fourth. Arias Ortega to trigger in. Tosses it into the backcourt of Bill Covington, the senior from Athens. Brings it into the front court, down seven. Down into the corner. That's Yay. Here's Wright with a three, no. And then a whistle, and that's a foul against C.J. Brown. No, check that. They're going to get that against Eric Sanders. That's his first team's fifth. Okay, now they've got it correct. Look at that when I get C.J. Brown, his first team's first. That's the correct call. It's out of 12, seven-point lead in the basketball. Your stock still. Ten points already in the, in the half. A quick ten as well. Gray, nice move and a finish. Colby Gray, his first bucket of the basketball game. 22-11. Poked out of bounds on the night's sideline. Sights back in, back out goes goes Brown. 11.21 to go here in the half. Rice Ortega going to trigger him, and he's got to tuck in his jersey first. Covington at the point. Stockstill nearly raked that one out of Sights' hands. 
Wright gets in the paint, drops it underneath, Sites, and he finishes. Sites with four of this senior out of coming Georgia. Stock still. Feeds the Northington. Now Gray. Here's the board. Goes to the baseline and a foul that's going the other way as Race DeBoard gets called for the charge. That's two on Race. Team's fifth. Stock still will step off. Back in is Raymer. DeBoard takes a seat and back in is Lloyd. 10.46 to play in the half. 20 to 13, a seven point lead for the Knights. They've led it from the entirety of this ball game. Here's Jay, tries to curl it up. He throws a fast ball that Sites can't handle. I don't know that Johnny Bench could have handled that one. He threw him a fastball and he should have gave him a changeup. Sites didn't even have a chance to blink and that one was passed him into the Knights bench. Here's Sanders on the high post left side, flips it off to Lloyd. Lloyd gets a screen from Raymer, nothing working there on the pick and roll. Kobe Gray wants another three, no. Coach Charlie Pack screaming on the far side, go rebound. Ross Ortega, right, wants a three, it's on the way, no. Northington, got a one-on-one, -on -one, gives it to Sanders. Sanders with a left-handed roll, no, too stiff. Here's Jay, fans it out right side, now kicks it off to Covington left. And Covington from the left wing finishes off the window. His first bucket of the ball game cuts the lead to five. 9.30 to play in the opening half. Sanders down low. And that's a walk, sure is. Colby Gray shuffled his feet. Here comes Noah Curry, stock still back in. And Jalen King Joyner, his first action. Sanders, Northington, and Gray will all take a seat. Five point lead for the Knights. Bears with a basketball. Bryce Ortega, left of point there on King Joyner. Gets cut off there on a double team, and Stock still feeds it out to Lloyd on the steal. Lloyd streaks to the basket, he's fouled. Covington whistled for the foul, his first team second. Jaden Lloyd to the line for two. Freshman out of Lake Wells, Florida, Largo High School. 77.3% free throw shooter. Nine points, uh, almost four rebounds a game. He gets the friendly roll as he tips that one across the front of the iron. Leads back to six. One more for the freshman. It's Cooper Rubio checking in for the ball game. Lloyd hits both. Out of the corner, Covington. Sites looks at a double team. They get the switch back to Stocksteel. Hop to the basket, can't get the ball to go. Knights with another chance, but it's stolen away. Riley with the interception, and Stock still blocks that one big time. Lloyd in transition, out to the corner. King Joyner, three ball, no. Rubio with a rebound. Stock 
Smith, eight minutes to go in the half. Down by seven are the Bears. Now Sites, back to Smith, shuffled his feet, and we get a foul. That was on Curry. Take a look at this block if we got it in time. Oh, yeah, we did. My goodness gracious. That's a 16 foul, so the next foul on the Knights will have the bear shooting bonus. Toss it in the back court. Mr. Covington will try to transport it back to the front court. Tries to give a little give and go to Sites, and he can't finish, but he's going to the line for two. That's on Lloyd, his first, team seventh. So Corey Seitz, 52% free throw shooter, at the line for two today. Bears a 70% free throw shooting team on the season. First one is up is no good. Bears now three of six from the charity stripe today. One more. In and out, no good. Stock still another rebound. That's his fifth. Halfway home on the rebounding side for a double double. Stock still. Hands off there to King Joyner. King Joyner glides to the basket high up off the window and finishes. King Joyner's first bucket of the ball game, 24 to 15. Can they push it back to 11 or more with a stop and a score? Sites on the cross court pass, 15 on the shot clock. Lost it on the way there. Here comes Lloyd, he's got numbers. Slows things down. Noah Curry, step back three, got it! 12 point lead, the largest of the ball game. 27 to 15, Knights rolling here in the first. Covington working on Lloyd. Lloyd hounding him as he takes him all the way to the back baseline. Rubio, nice crossover move, steps up and left it short, but he got fouled on the way up. Look at that one, Raymer. His first team's eighth. So Cooper Rubio to the free throw line for two. We did not have stats for him because he was not expected to play today. And he misses the first. Second was on the way and missed badly. Nice box out KJ Riley and he is fouled. That was on King Joyner, his first team's ninth. So the next foul on KCU will have the Bears shooting double bonus. This is gonna be a one and one here. Huh? Yes. So KJ Riley one plus the bonus here. First one is up is good, one more. Nine to two on the foul differential. Got them both. Three points for the senior from Greenville. The KCU fans here in attendance letting them hear about it. A lot of the baseball guys in, in the house. Raymer tried to go back door and it's thrown away. Riley loses his footing out of bounds. Jalen Lloyd was all over him and forces another turnover. Tenth turnover over the basketball game for the Bears. Jaden Lloyd was just all over him. Here's King Joyner. Noah Curry, step back three, that one's short the whole way. King Joyner with a rebound, bodies himself back in there, ball's knocked around, tipped out. Rubio comes out of there with it. And then Jalen Lloyd forces the 
tie up and the jump ball, Errol favors KCU. Ten point lead for the Knights. They've led it by as many as 12. Can they add up a little more on this trip? Here's Lloyd. Stocksteel gets hammered as he turns as C.J. Brown picks up his second, team's third. 5.51 to go in the half. Here comes Sites back in the ball game. Canaan Wright will return, a junior out of St. Cloud, Florida. So he'll replace Rubio. Lloyd with the basketball, 20 seconds on the shot clock. Lloyd left side. Floater on the baseline, no. King Joyner fighting for the rebound. It's tipped out of bounds. It'll stay with the Knights. And we just got a technical foul on the bench. Mr. Official gave the technical foul and then reached up and under and gave it to the player on the bench. It was issued to C.J. Brown. That's huge because that's his third personal foul. So Jaden Lloyd's gonna shoot the technical free throws. He got the first. And that one goes home as well. So 12 point lead. Boy trying to get it in, lobs it all the way back near the midcourt stripe. Curry on the drive, tries to kick it to the corner and it's raked out of bounds off the hands of EJ Smith. Lloyd, double team, spins out of the double team. Stocksteel wants a three, no. Too stiff out of bounds. Everything that has worked well for KCU today, that's the only thing they've not done good, is shoot to three. They're one of eight. TMU 0 of five. Stay tuned with us at the half. Check out the scoring and stats of this one. Lights out to a good start here, leading by 12 in the first half. Here's Wright, going to the rack. Ball knocked out of bounds. Back to KCU it comes. 12th turnover of the basketball game. Lamar Northington swatted that one out of his hands and it kicked off his knee. We'll cross the five minute mark on this trip. Here's King Joyner out of the corner, left side. Hits the screen there from Stocksteel. Spins in the lane, puts it in the right hand and finishes. King Joyner's fourth point of the ball game. That's a 14 point lead, the largest it's been thus far. Stolen away out to Northington. Northington skies and finishes. Lamar's eighth. Here's your Grayson Sporting Goods instant replay. Check out this feed from Lloyd. Northington with a finish and a timeout requested. A full timeout. We're back in 60 seconds on Cool TV. Rev up your autumn adventure and refuel at Clark's Pump and Shop. Make a pit stop and treat yourself to our assortment of snacks and drinks. Clark's Pump and Shop has the perfect treats to satisfy your fall cravings. From our seasonal lattes and iced coffees to specialty donuts and desserts. Don't just fuel up your vehicle, fuel your taste buds at Clark's Pump and Shop, your ultimate road companion. Clark's Pump and Shop. Return, refresh, refuel. 
If you're looking for a complete discount pharmacy with old-fashioned service and excellent prices, look no more. Since 1979, Stultz Pharmacy has provided our area with the finest in pharmacy care, 24-hour emergency prescription service, free delivery, and drive through service for prescriptions. Stultz Pharmacy continues to fill all of your expectations. They carry a nice selection of gift items. For hometown service, see the professionals at Stultz Pharmacy in Greenup. More than you expect from a pharmacy. Stultz Pharmacy. It may be freezing cold outside. It's blistering hot in here with the Knights rolling, shooting 50% from the field, 14 of 28. D'Angelo Stockstill with 10, Lamar Northington with eight. Seven assists on 10, 14 made baskets already. They forced 13 turnovers. They turned those into 13 points. They've got a 16 point lead. That's the largest it's been thus far in the first half. D'Angelo Stockstill rolled out a quick 10. And they've just kind of scattered it around a little bit. They try to go back door and Seitz has it poked out of bounds. It'll stay with the Bears here on the near sideline. TMU Bears women's basketball defeated Case U 64-57 in the earlier game. Mid basketball trying to pick up their sixth win of the season. KCU doing a fabulous job of staking that claim here. Lloyd in a hurry. Northington goes on the baseline. Now to Lloyd. Lloyd left that one short. May have gotten hit on the way up. Riley on King Joyner. Throws a dart out to Wright. Wright glides to the basket. Stops. He's hemmed up there by Stocksteel. Little floater up by Riley and can't get the roll. Inside of four to play in the half. Big man goes to the rack with the left hand. Raymer can't finish. Riley slows it down there next to the bench for the Knights. Seitz lost the handle on the basketball. 7-10 split as they go into the bench. It kicks back out to Riley and he buries the triple. He's got six. That trims the lead to 13. Northington, left wing. Goes to Raymer underneath and just lost it. Raymer looks like he's about to pass out. He's hearing it from Coach Charlie Pack on the other side. Lloyd steps off, back in is Colby Gray. Thirteen point edge for the Knights. Bears with a basketball. Jaden Ye feeds it off there to right, high post. To the right side he goes. Riley wants a second three, that one's well short. Colby Gray scoops in the rebound. King Joyner. Little push off, no call. Gray on the feed, back to Stocksteel. 15 on the shots clock. Here's Northington. He gets lined up. He'll pull the trigger. Three's on the way. No. Ball knocked around, and it's raked out of bounds. Who touched it last? It'll stay with KCU. And a fresh 20 on the shot clock. Knights basketball on the near sideline. KCU the one of nine from long range. Here comes Arias Ortega back in. Stock steal. Throws a dart there to King Joyner. He's blocked away there by Seitz, though. Yeah, he tried to make a run, and then Northington cuts him off. Northington hounding him all the way across the midcourt stripe. Ras Ortega curls out of the right corner, now to right, left side. Kick down in the corner. Yay, right in the lane. And then Smith gets it to go home.
33-22 inside of two to play in the half. Gray, long range jumper from the key, hook twine. His fourth point of the basketball game. 90 seconds to play in the half. Yeah, he'll take the hand off with 15. Bryce Ortega back to Yeh. Yeh finds a seam out to the corner right. Southpaw launches the three, tries to go off the bank, but it's closed here in Grayson on Sunday or Saturdays. King Joyner wasn't ready for the basketball, and he loses it out of bounds. Eighth turnover of the basketball game for the Knights. Inside of a minute to play here in the first half. It's been all Knights. They lead it by 13. Northington tried to go for a pick, and it's kicked out of bounds. It'll stay near side with the Bears. Thirteen on the shot clock. They reset the shot clock. They should not have. Raymer steps off. In comes back Eric Sanders, the redshirt junior out of Detroit, which I've been told by Mr. Stockstill is thirty minutes from Detroit. Good to know, thank you, good sir. Smith, working left, lost the handle on the pill, gets it right back. Rice Ortega, spin move in the lane, has that one poked away, that sounded like all ball. I can hear it from here. Colby Gray picks up the foul, his second team's 10, so double bonus the rest of the way. And it's gonna put Raul Ar Arias Ortega to the free throw line to shoot two. 70.4% free throw shooter, seven points, two rebounds a game, nearly eight points a game. First one's up is good for the junior out of the Dominican Republic. Five seconds between the game clock and the shot clock. So 35 and 30. KJ Riley checks back in for Kanan Wright. So we'll see if KCU tries to go quick here and get a stop. Or if they try to milk out as much as they possibly can, not trying to get a two for one out of this. King Joyner on left side. 17 on the shot clock, we're great. Here's Sanders, starts to attack. Goes with a little Euro step, turns it over. And then a finger roll by E.J. Smith, his sixth. Eight seconds to go and a foul on the far side. That's on K.J. Riley, his first, team's fifth. 6.3 seconds to go in the half. What was 16 is now down to nine. Some sloppy basketball here by KCU in this final two minutes. Gray gets it across the midcourt stripe, and Covington reaches in and gets the foul, his second, team sixth. So kind of using the fouls a little bit to, to slow down KCU from not being able to get them across midcourt. Now they're going to have to do it again. Lamar Northington, fade away three. Good if it goes, it will not. And that takes us to the half. 35-26 as Coach John Ye having a conversation with the officiating crew. A very lengthy conversation at that as the teams head to the locker room, but Coach Ye is still on the floor. He's gotten whatever he wants to say out of his system. So we're at the half here in Grayson. 35-26, nice lead up by nine. Halftime show when we return after this on Cool TV. Rev up your autumn adventure and refuel at Clark's Pump and Shop. Make a pit stop and treat yourself to our assortment of snacks and drinks. Clark's Pump and Shop has the perfect treats to satisfy your fall cravings. From our seasonal lattes and iced coffees to specialty donuts and desserts. Don't just fuel up your vehicle, fuel your taste buds at Clark's Pump and Shop, your ultimate road companion. Clark's Pump and Shop. Return, refresh, refuel. 
If you're looking for a complete discount pharmacy with old-fashioned service and excellent prices, look no more. Since 1979, Stultz Pharmacy has provided our area with the finest in pharmacy care, 24-hour emergency prescription service, free delivery, and drive through service for prescriptions. Stultz Pharmacy continues to fill all of your expectations. They carry a nice selection of gift items. For hometown service, see the professionals at Stultz Pharmacy in Greenup. More than you expect from a pharmacy. Stultz Pharmacy. River Cities Builders is a licensed general contractor specializing in commercial and industrial projects, and they have a history and reputation of providing top-notch expertise through their experienced and devoted workforce. River Cities Builders also is a gas facility maintenance company offering petroleum equipment maintenance and EMV compliant upgrades for smart payment terminals, and they offer 24 hours, 7 days a week emergency service. Call 606-473-4112 or visit River Cities buildersinc.com when you have business away from home or a planned event far from your comfort zone, you're probably going to need a little help. Let a and Porta Potties assist you with all your portable toilet needs. Whether on a construction site, planning for an outdoor wedding, or any other outdoor event, a and Porta Potties are here to assist you. a and Porta Potties also rents out storage containers, office containers, cooling fans, tables, and chairs. a and Porta Potties, there is no event too big or too small for us to accommodate you. Thirty-five twenty-six. your score at the half. It's been all KCU. They uh, trotted three to two, about 90 seconds into the ball game. And then from that point forward, pushed it out to as many as 16. But uh, have not been able to kind of, that was at the 445 mark. Lamar Northington finished with a running layup and that was 33 to 17. And from that point, they got a score at 11 to two, the remaining 445 of the half. And again, as good as things have looked, uh, that's kind of been the bugaboo. And that's something I know that Coach Pack will talk about in post game is how this team can go from one entity to the next. And it's, uh, it's always been kind of one of his One of his things that just drives him bazonkers, if you will, of how you could play clean basketball for 16 minutes and a little four-minute stretch can just ruin it all there in the in the half. But uh, fortunately, they're up nine. We'll break it down when we return after this on Cool TV. At First National Bank, we strive to make every person that walks through our doors feel like family. Because to us, you are. For over 120 years, we have lived in and served the families of Kentucky with genuine care through the good times and the bad. Come and see the difference banking with family can truly make for you at any of our seven locations or visit our website at www.fnbgrayson.com. First National Bank, member FDIC. When you want real, authentic Mexican menu items, you want Tres Hermanos Nunez. Accept no substitutes. None compares. Fajitas, tacos, burritos, quesadillas, chimichangas, even vegetarian choices. A kid's menu, desserts, and salads, a tasty, budget-pleasing selection for you and your family, unlike any others, should be your first and only choice for authentic Mexican all throughout the tri-state. Ashland, Greenham, Grayson, Paintsville, Canova, South Point, Olive Hill, and Cannonsburg. Tres Hermanos Nunez, the best around. Kentucky Christian University is a private, nonprofit university located in the beautiful foothills of Eastern Kentucky in Grayson. KCU offers both undergraduate and graduate programs, including the Teacher Leader Master of Arts in Education degree. They also have an array of competitive sports. Kentucky Christian University is committed to focusing on Christ while helping students build character and prepare for their future careers. Visit kcu.edu to learn more or to schedule a visit to campus. 
Not only is State Senator Robin Webb proud to support and congratulate our youth in all their endeavors in and out of the classroom, but your State Senator Robin Webb is also proud to support and work for all the adults in her district. Robin Webb strives to put forth the best for youth and adults alike. Whether it's in Frankfurt or here at home in her district, know that Robin Webb puts you first in all of her decisions she makes. State Senator Robin Webb strives harder every day to make Kentucky a better place to work, live, and have fun. Sorry, I got caught mid mid uh, bite there. I was trying to trying to put in a quick energy bite uh, in between the games here, but uh, 20, 35, 26 at the half. Let's look at our first half numbers here. Visiting Bears nine of twenty three from the field. That's thirty nine point one percent. One of eight from long range. Twelve and a half percent. 53.8% from the charity stripe, 7 of 13. 15 rebounds, 14 turnovers. For the Knights, 44.1% from the field, 15 of 34. 1 of 10 from long range, 10%, perfect 4 of 4. From the charity stripe, 15 rebounds, 9 turnovers. The big difference, though, on the stat sheet when you break this thing down, KCU has turned the 14 turnovers into 13 points. On the other side, the Bears have only turned the nine KCU turnovers into five points. And that's huge. Um, the, nobody, you, no, any way you dice it up. The other side of it, too, is KCU's assisted on seven of the 15 made baskets. The basketball is moving. Um, neither team has really done anything on the offensive glass. Only two offensive rebounds for both teams. The, uh, the big difference, the fouls. Uh, KCU, 10. There was... Uh, should be six fouls. There was only an issue for five. They got it. They issued a technical foul, and it was given to C.J. Brown. But on the stats program, it was issued to D'Angelo Stockstill. Even though she'll stole that he has one, but the, the stats program showed it up there. That foul should have been assessed to C.J. Brown on the bench for the Bears, So which should be his third ter- personal foul because I had him on the bench with two. So the official went there, pointed to the bench, and pointed at number 10. But, again, the stats program is not showing that. The crazy thing is they're not showing but the one personal foul on D'Angelo Stock still. So I don't, I don't understand how that works. Either way, um, it's a nine-point lead for the Knights as they're already back out of the locker room starting their second half warm-ups. We'll take a break. We'll come back. We'll look at our individual numbers and get you ready for the second half. Knights leading big here at home, 35-26. Our coverage continues after this on halftime on Cool TV. Hello everyone, I am Rick Clark. Let me introduce you to Carlisle, Annabelle, and Zach. And as you can tell by these commercials, this family has a lot of fun. We have a great team here at Clark's. And we would love for you to join our family. Whether you're a young person looking for your first job, someone who's looking for extra work, or maybe you're ready to start a career at a growing company, we want to talk to you. To find out more and start the process, go to MyClarksPNS.com. Clark's Pub and Shop. Return. Refresh. Refuel. If you're looking for a complete discount pharmacy with old-fashioned service and excellent prices, look no more. Since 1979, Stultz Pharmacy has provided our area with the finest in pharmacy care, 24-hour emergency prescription service, free delivery, and drive through service for prescriptions. Stultz Pharmacy continues to fill all of your expectations. They carry a nice selection of gift items. For hometown service, see the professionals at Stultz Pharmacy in Greenup. More than you expect from a pharmacy. Stultz Pharmacy. River Cities Builders is a licensed general contractor specializing in commercial and industrial projects, and they have a history and reputation of providing top-notch expertise through their experienced and devoted workforce. River Cities Builders also is a gas facility maintenance company offering petroleum equipment maintenance and EMV-compliant upgrades for smart payment terminals, and they offer 24 hours, 7 days a week emergency service. Call 606-473-4112 or visit River Cities buildersinc.com When you have business away from home or a planned event far from your comfort zone, you're probably going to need a little help. Let a and Porta Potties assist you with all your portable toilet needs. Whether on a construction site, planning for an outdoor wedding, or any other outdoor event, a and Porta Potties are here to assist you. a and Porta Potties also rents out storage containers, office containers, 
cooling fans, tables and chairs, A&A porta potties. There is no event too big or too small for us to accommodate you. Individual numbers here in the first half of play. D'Angelo Stockstill, 10 points, 5 rebounds. That leads the way. The only player with double figures is Stockstill. Lamar Northington with 8. Jaden Lloyd, Jalen King Joyner, and Colby Gray have 4. Noah Curry with 3. Race the board has 2. E.J. Smith and K.J. Riley with 6 for the visiting Bears. Corey Seitz has 4. Kanan Wright, Akil Covington, C.J. Brown, and Raul R.S. Ortega, and Jordan, and Jaden Yeh, excuse me, have 2 each. One final break, we'll take it now. Second half, we'll get going when we return after this on Cool TV. At First National Bank, we strive to make every person that walks through our doors feel like family. Because to us, you are. For over 120 years, we have lived in and served the families of Kentucky with genuine care through the good times and the bad. Come and see the difference banking with family can truly make for you at any of our seven locations or visit our website at www dot fnbgrayson.com First National Bank member FDIC when you want real, authentic Mexican menu items, you want Tres Hermanos Nunez. Accept no substitutes. None compares. Fajitas, tacos, burritos, quesadillas, chimichangas, even vegetarian choices. A kid's menu, desserts, and salads, a tasty, budget-pleasing selection for you and your family, unlike any others, should be your first and only choice for authentic Mexican all throughout the tri-state. Ashland, Greenham, Grayson, Paintsville, Canova, South Point, Olive Hill, and Cannonsburg. Tres Hermanos Nunez, the best around. Kentucky Christian University is a private, nonprofit university located in the beautiful foothills of Eastern Kentucky in Grayson. KCU offers both undergraduate and graduate programs, including the Teacher Leader Master of Arts in Education degree. They also have an array of competitive sports. Kentucky Christian University is committed to focusing on Christ while helping students build character and prepare for their future careers. Visit kcu.edu to learn more or to schedule a visit to campus. Not only is State Senator Robin Webb proud to support and congratulate our youth in all their endeavors in and out of the classroom, but your State Senator Robin Webb is also proud to support and work for all the adults in her district. Robin Webb strives to put forth the best for youth and adults alike. Whether it's in Frankfurt or here at home in her district, know that Robin Webb puts you first in all of her decisions she makes. State Senator Robin Webb drives harder every day to make Kentucky a better place to work, live, and have fun. Getting ready to get ready. That was kind of counterintuitive there. Getting ready to get ready. What are you doing if you're getting ready to get ready? I think that means I've been talking too much today. Let's look at top 25 scores around college basketball. We've had some big ones today. North Carolina, seventh in the nation. They up in Syracuse, 103 to 67. Number 20, Utah State's on the ropes at UNLV. The unranked Rebels lead it by two with 23 seconds to go in that ball game. Number 18, BYU leads UCF 26-24. That game's at the half. Number 11, Duke leads Georgia Tech 7-5. That game just getting underway. Other finals from today, number 5, Tennessee defeats Georgia 85-79 in Athens. It was number 15, Wisconsin over Northwestern 71-63. Number 22, Creighton knocks off St. John 66-65. Number 3, Kansas takes care of number 9, Oklahoma 78-66. Down to College Station, number six, Kentucky falls in overtime to Texas A&M, 97 to 92. New Mexico loses to number 19, or wins against number 19, San Diego State, 88 to 70. Number one, Purdue routes Penn State, 95 78. Number 21, Clemson over Boston College, 89 to 78. So our score here, 35 26 as we get ready to start the second 20 minutes of play. Big hat tip to my crew here this afternoon. Felicia Collier, our executive producer. Cam Bryan, our camera operator. Greatly appreciate their efforts here. Looking ahead at the upcoming schedule. Doubleheader for men and women here Tuesday night against Union, 5.30 and 7.30. Then they return here the following Wednesday for a men and women's doubleheader against U-Pike. I'll be back with you on the 24th for that doubleheader with you, Pike. 
Three home games, three road games in the month of February, alternating each week. The 3rd, 10th, and 17th, all games here at home. Bears have the basketball to start the second half. Right to left, they go on your screen, and off we go with the second half of action. Here's Covington, wants to throw it on the lob. Riley catches it underneath, turns, puts up the shot, no good. Stockdale with a six rebound. Really good job defensively there by D'Angelo. Here's DeBoard. Kicks it out into the corner. Northington, skies to the rim and finishes. Tough shot there by Lamar, but he got, got his 10th point. Every time he takes off, I just think he's gonna try to dunk the basketball. It's just a, kind of the mojo he gives. Yay with a three out of the corner, no good. Ball poked around, who touched it last? They'll say it was off Raymer. So it'll stay with the Bears on their end of the bucket. Gonna put it right in the corner on the near sideline. KJ Riley to trigger in. Gets it into Smith. Covington. Slams on the brakes, goes out to Ye. Seven on the shot clock. And a Euro step, that's not gonna work here in Grayson, but they got a foul before that. That was on Lloyd. That's his second team's first of the half. Here's Riley, pumps, goes to the elbow, fade away from the keyholes, pure. Eight points for KJ. 37-28. Northington wants a three, it's on the way, no. Sides with a rebound of stock still right outside of the restricted space. Riley in the front court, 17 footer. Off the top of the backboard, there's stock still with a rebound number seven for him. The board. Fans it out in the corner, settles things down and resets the offense. 20 on the shot clock as it gets the reset. Comes to the elbow, pushes it up there, no good. A little too stiff off the back of the box. Yeah, he goes right at Lloyd and can't get it to go, but Lloyd picks up his third. Team second. Coach Charlie Pack on the far sideline asking, the official, how does, his, how does he push if his hands are straight up in the air? So Jaden Ye is going to go to the free throw line, 85% free throw shooter. He's two for two in the ball game. He's only two points. That one goes through with ease. Three points for Ye, the freshman out of Cleveland, Georgia. Lloyd will have to take a seat. Colby Gray coming on. What was once 16 is now down to eight, or excuse me, to six. Now down, or excuse me, it was eight, now it's seven. Um, 37 to 30. More Northington at the point for the moment. Gives it off to Colby Gray. There's the board. Stock still wants it inside. They lob it over top to the stock still, and he puts it through with ease in the traffic. His 12th point of the ball game. Strong finish there by D'Angelo. Here's Covington. Stops at the free throw line. Smith, a long three, no. Ball tipped around and all the way back out near midcourt. That goes to EJ Smith. Covington left side. Riley loses it on the way up as Northington picks his pocket. Tries to get it ahead to race the board and Ye knocks it out of bounds.
And we're getting a full timeout by KCU. 39-30, back in 60 seconds on the Cool Hit Sports Network. River Cities Builders is a licensed general contractor specializing in commercial and industrial projects, and they have a history and reputation of providing top-notch expertise through their experienced and devoted workforce. River Cities Builders also is a gas facility maintenance company offering petroleum equipment maintenance and EMV compliant upgrades for smart payment terminals, and they offer 24 hours, 7 days a week emergency service. Call 606-473-4112 or visit River Cities buildersinc.com when you have business away from home or a planned event far from your comfort zone, you're probably going to need a little help. Let ANA Porta Potties assist you with all your portable toilet needs. Whether on a construction site, planning for an outdoor wedding, or any other outdoor event, ANA Porta Potties are here to assist you. ANA Porta Potties also rents out storage containers, office containers, cooling fans, tables, and chairs. ANA Porta Potties, there is no event too big or too small for us to accommodate you. 39 to 30. KCU in front. Rigid day here in Grayson. And no snow. I love snow. I can't get any snow. Last time we had really good snow, I had knee surgery and had a brace on up to my stinking hip and didn't get to do any of it. Since then, we've not had enough snow to make a snowball. Either way, back to basketball. Skip pass to board in the corner. Starts to attack, now to Gray. Gray attacks, puts it in the left hand, a little floater gets the soft touch. Kobe Gray, six point of the ball game, the lead's back to 11. Big answer there by the Knights out of the timeout. Covington crosses over, goes out to the corner. Gets it back in the corner in front of Stock. Just to cut it to 10. Raul Arias Ortega at the scores table to check in. Missed it. Sanders with a strong rebound in traffic there. And then the Knights throw it out of bounds, trying to feed it ahead of Stockstill. Charlie Pack just puts his hands, his face in his hands, and just like he's beside himself. There's been plenty to be happy about in this game. And there's been plenty that Coach Pack will probably watch the film and want to throw a clipboard across the room. Most important part right now, Knights lead it by 11. Here's C.J. Brown. Ortega, cut off on the baseline. Works on Sanders. Out to Ye, spot up three from the corner, yes. Jaden Ye gets his first field goal of the night. Seven points for him. That trims the lead to eight. Big bucket there. Your stock still comes near sideline, hands it off there to the board. Northington attacks the rim, draws contact, can't get the finish, fights for his rebound, puts it up, and he's fouled. He'll get sights on the body, his first team second, and the more Northington will go to the line for the first time this afternoon and shoot free throws. Seventy-five percent free throw shooter is the freshman of Hoptown, University Heights High School. Too stiff on the first one. First free throw the Knights have missed here in this basketball game. They were a perfect six of six. North of them with ten, make it eleven. As he hits the second, leads back to nine. Trying to pick up their fourth conference win. Bryce Ortega loses his footing and falls down. Northington feeds it out to Dart to DeBoer. DeBoer tries to reverse it back in. Instead of shooting it, they turn it over. Now they've got a three on one, and he just took steps from all the way from here to Georgia. Tried to feed it off on the, the three on one break, and you could have got away with that many steps in the NBA.
Aiden Lloyd still stuck on that bench with those three personal fouls. You got to wonder when Coach Pack's going to try to go back to him. Here's Northington, gives it back to Stockstill. Sweet touch right there by D'Angelo for his 14th of the ball game. He's got such soft hands there for the big man that stands 6'7 out of Inkster, Michigan. Fights through the screen, works on sights. Sights turn around, shot no good. Number eight for Stocksteel. Here come the Knights. Up 11. DeBoard slows things down, sets up the offense, gives it off to Gray. He'll set up an offensive play as he turns and looks to coach Charlie Pack. 18 on the shot clock as we put it on the deck. Left side, Northington. They wanted to go to Stocksteel there on the lob, and they got tangled up on the pick. Feet inside to DeBoard, out to the corner, Sanders. Sanders step back, two on the shot clock, money as it goes down. Eric Sanders, first bucket of the ball game. Leads back to 13. That was huge right there by Eric Sanders, the Red Star Junior out of Detroit. Here's Covington working on DeBoard, slams on the brakes, feeds it off to Ye with a left hand off the window, no. Ball tipped right back to him. Arias Ortega, three from the wing, no. Colby Gray with a rebound, here come the Knights. Step through, puts it up, no good, but he's fouled on the way up, he'll shoot two. That was on Arias Ortega, his first, team's third. Gray five points, 1.4 rebounds a, a night. 57% free throw shooter is the junior from Bowling Green. He puts that one through with ease. Seven points for him. Bill Covington comes off. Here comes King Joyner in for Northington. 49-35. Bears trying to avoid a loss in a, what would then turn into a five-game losing streak. Haven't won since December 12th. That's trying to bounce back after the loss to Bryan last time out. 84-75 on the road. 15 point lead, the largest of 16 in the ball game. And KJ Riley with an acrobat like shot as he gets it to go off the window. That was on stock steal, his second. Team's fourth. KJ Riley, 81.5% free throw shooter. Three of four, missed his first one. Hit three consecutive after that. And that one's good. Five and a half, 11 in the game. Board takes the handoff, 15 on the shot clock, as he'll bring it near side to Gray. Here's Gray, looks at the 2-3 the zone now. Gray pulls the trigger, three's on the way, twine. Colby Gray buries the triple from downtown, triple town, that puts it back to 15. Ross Ortega out of the corner. Gets the handoff, spins on the elbow, tries to feed it inside, does so to Brown, and he's fouled on the way up. I believe that's on Stocksville, it's his. Now check, they're going to get it on King Joyner, that's his second, team's fifth. So C.J. Brown will go to the line for the second time this afternoon. Missing and one opportunity back in the first half. 56% free throw shooter. Grad student out of Miami, Florida, spent much of the first half on the bench. And then while there, picked up a technical foul, which is his third foul of the game. Averaging nearly nine and a half a game, he's limited to four. Make it five. 13 point lead for the Knights with the basketball as we approach the 11 minute mark here in the contest.
Here's a weak pass by Sanders, and going up with a two-handed jam is K.J. Riley, and he hammers that one home. So 53-42, a 30-second timeout there by Coach Charlie Pack. So both teams have four timeouts remaining in the basketball game. Excuse me, they just they took it off the, it was, should be three and four, it's correct. I looked at it, it was still up there when I looked at the scoreboard, it was four and four. Double hitter here Tuesday night against Union. Women play at 5.30, that's a 5.10 countdown to tip off pregame show. 7.30 or thereabouts, 25 minutes typically after the conclusion of the women's game, the men will get started. You can catch all that action right here on the exclusive home for your KC Unites. Cool TV. And if you're not done so and you're just now joining us for the first time, hit that subscribe button. Quickly trying to get those subscribers up to 3,000. Getting closer every single day. We greatly appreciate all of our great supporters out there. That's from our sponsors to our viewers. We couldn't do everything we do without all the great support we get and all the great folks here at Kentucky Christian University. Here's the board on the baseline. Back out to top of the key. Gray wants another three, he's got it. Back-to-back -back triples, Colby Gray. 14-point lead. Kate Joyner barking at the official all the way down the near sideline. Not for sure what happened, but he was not happy. Here's Seitz. Hands off Smith, gives it up to Ye. 13 on the shot clock as Freshman will put it on the deck and start the attack here with nine. Yeah, he gets it back. Straightaway threes on the way. He's good. He's got two triples in the half. John Ye wants a timeout. It's a 30-second timeout with 10 minutes exactly to go in the basketball game. So both teams now with three timeouts remaining. Been a good basketball game. Look at the numbers. Drew McConnell shooting 38.5%. KCU nearing 49%. They're 22 of 45. Uh, they were 1 of 10 from the arc. 3 of 13 now in the game. They've 9 of 10 from the free throw line. The only miss uh, was Lamar Northington's first free throw here in the second half. 23 rebounds to 21 favoring the Knights. Eighteen turnovers for the visiting Bears. We've only had eight total offensive rebounds in this basketball game. That's crazy. So out of the timeout, KCU with the basketball, working full court. Gray brings it into the front court. He'll set up the offense with an 11-point edge. He's had a hot touch. Comes to the right side, now goes left. Slams on the brakes, eight on the shot clock. Northington way out top. Hand off to Northington, tries to curl back off to Stocksteel, and he tried to throw it through the six-foot-eight frame, then it's stolen away, King Joyner. Northington lines up a three, and no. And it's on the top of the backboard, it's out of bounds, and it's back to the visiting Bears. Go back to that last game out. Stocksdale with 22. Lloyd and DeBoard each with 13. Seitz catches it in the lane, feeds it back out. Spot up three, Smith, two stiff. Seitz with a rebound from the keyhole. Yay steps back for the three, no. 
Rebound up by Riley, shot no good, but he's fouled. He got that one on Colby Gray, that's his third. Team foul number six, so the next foul against KCU will have the Bears shooting bonus free throws. And it's actually gonna be KJ Riley to the free throw line for two. And can't get to friendly roll. Cooper Rubio checking in as Arias Ortega will step off. Eleven point advantage for the Knights. Missed them both. The long rebounds tipped twice out to him. Here's Smith. Hemmed off on the baseline there by Stocksteel. Back to Riley. Riley attacks with a finish at the rim. 14 for Riley. Northington can't get it to go home and a foul from behind on King Joyner on the push. His third, team seventh. And we're going to go to the other end and shoot free throws. Kramer takes a seat. Kobe Gray goes to the bench. Sanders and Lloyd return. So KJ Riley with 15 points in this basketball game and then one opportunity. Can't get the first one to go home. Missed three in a row. Northington, top of the key, King Joyner. Three's on the way, splash. King Joyner buries the triple, the fourth of the basketball game for the Knights. Leads back to 12. Riley gliding to the basket, and he's fouled. If that's on King Joyner, that's his fourth, and it is. Team's eighth. And we will shoot one in the bonus. So KJ Riley, 82% free throw shooter, has missed his last three. Fourteen points, six rebounds a game for the senior from Greenville, Mississippi. Eyes and fires. Got that one to go through. One more for him. 16 in the basketball game. He has 16. Sorry, my plug-in just came undone. <laughs> 16 for Riley, 10 for Ye. Make it 17 for the senior. Three players in double figures for KCU, Stocksteel, and Gray have 14. Northington with 11. Here's Northington with the basketball. 10-point lead. Riley steals it away. Streaks to the rack. Puts up a shot. No good. He's fouled. That one's on Northington. That's his second. Team's ninth. So the next one on the Knights will have the Bears shooting double bonus the rest of the way. We've got 734 to play in this one. Still a long ways from home. K.J. Riley for two more. Six of ten from the free throw line. 17 points here this afternoon. Into this late, early evening, if you will. Late afternoon, early evening, I should say. Northington takes a seat. Colby Gray back in. So it's Gray, Lloyd, Stocksteel, Sanders, and, and DeBoard. Rubio, Ye, Riley, Brown, and Smith. Second one in and out, no good. 
Eric Sanders with a rebound on the baseline. Back to single digits. It's down to nine, 59-50. And then a reach in foul. 25 feet away from the basket there on E.J. Smith. That's his first team's fourth. Here's Lloyd. Stock still with 10. Lloyd curls in, nice little stutter step, goes up and he's fouled. Nice take there by Jaden Lloyd. That little hesitation move to draw the contact. That's on Ye, his second team's fifth. And Jaden Lloyd to the line to shoot two. He's got four points in the basketball game, all of those from the free throw line. A 77.3% free throw shooter is the freshman out of Lake Wells, Florida. Make it five of five today. KCU at 10 of 11 from the charity strike. Now it's one of the things I've talked with Coach Pack this season about their missed opportunities in games at the free throw line. He said, you know, it's not that we don't shoot them in the in practice, we do. Coming in, they were under 60%. That game's gonna go up, that number's gonna go up after here today. 91.7 this evening. They lead it by 11. Nice finish there by K.J. Riley as he gets free for an even 20. 61-52 inside of seven to play in the ball game. Knights have led it by as many as 16. Every time they get a little run, somehow the Bears find an answer. Here's Gray. Now Sanders off to Lloyd. Seven on the shot clock. Lloyd. Fakes right, comes back left, fadeaway jumper short. Gray tries to put it back in. Second opportunity won't go. Eric Sanders gets an offensive rebound. And then we go inside and a foul underneath. That one's on Ye. That's his third team's sixth. So the next foul will be bonus for KCU. Double bonus on the next foul against the Knights for the Bears. 6.14 to go in this one. We're going to shoot a lot of free throws down the stretch. Here's Raymer. Has that one blocked by Sites. It goes off of Raymer and out of bounds. Sites did a really good job there with his offhand of getting the block, and then as it went back down, it caught Raymer's shoulder and kicked out of bounds. So nine point deficit. Big opportunity here for the Bears on this trip. We're across six minutes. Brown goes up, counted and won. As KJ Riley, excuse me there, Picks up his 22nd point. That's 16 and a half. Jaden Lloyd whistled for his fourth. That's the team's 10th. So double bonus the rest of the way. Northington back in for Lloyd. It's down to six. This one to make it five. Misses that one. And a foul against C.J. Brown, his fourth. Team seventh. So we're going to go to the other end and shoot free throws. So bonus the rest of the way. Double bonus for the Bears. One in the bonus for KCU. And it's going to be Eric Sanders at the line shooting one plus. 39% free throw shooter is the redshirt junior from Detroit. And what was looking like a, a game that was well in hand has turned into a very tightly contested battle. As he gets the first. One more. 12 of 13 
from the free throw line today are the Knights. Perfect. Makes it an eight-point lead. Those were big right there. You got to think, if the Knights hang on down the stretch here, 13 of 14 is going to be enough to get you there. And an untimed error there by Sykes as he tries to throw it off to Riley and tosses it out of bounds. Kobe Gray running the point with Jalen Lloyd, Jaden Lloyd, excuse me, on the bench. Those four personal fouls. Gray, once a three, left side, Monty. Kobe Gray, his third three of the ball game. That's huge, that's back to 12. He's got 17 in the basketball game. 14 coming in this half. And then a whistle and a foul on the way up on the shot. That's on Raymer, his second. So two fouls, two foul shots. The rest of the way here is E.J. Smith will go to the line for the first time today. Senior out of Atlanta, 71% free throw shooter. Just under 12 points, over five rebounds a game. Got the first one to go home. Seven points for him. C.J. Brown will sit, Akil Covington back on. 5.15 to play. They got them both. 66-56, Knights with the basketball on a 10-point edge. Here's Northington. Back to DeBoard. Or feeds it off to Sanders, nearly lost the basketball. Sanders tight roping the back, the side, back, or the back line, excuse me, throws it out of bounds. Euro step and a finger roll there by E.J. Smith. Cuts the lead to eight. Stock still quickly back to the scores table to check in. Inside of five to play. Here's Northington. Hemmed up next to his bench. Gray down to the corner. Sanders. Toes the line, pulls the trigger, threes is short. Nobody going for the basketball. And then it just happens to fall right in front of E.J. Smith. Sites and Raymer battling underneath. Approaching four minutes to play in regulation. Here's Ye. Smith with a big answer, three balls and air ball. Colby Gray with a rebound. Coach Charlie Pack says, let's go. Four minutes to go. Eight point lead for the Knights and they get the ball. Down to the corner to board. 10 on the shot clock. The board reverses back to Raymer. Step back three straight away, no. Quickly ahead, EJ Smith lines up a three, yes. Down to five and a timeout requested. Full timeout, we're back in 60 seconds on Cool TV. At First National Bank, we strive to make every person that walks through our doors feel like family. Because to us, you are. For over 120 years, we have lived in and served the families of Kentucky with genuine care through the good times and the bad. Come and see the difference banking with family can truly make for you at any of our seven locations or visit our website at www.fnbgrayson.com. First National Bank, member FDIC. When you want real, authentic Mexican menu items, you want Tres Hermanos Nunez. Accept no substitutes. None compares. Fajitas, tacos, burritos, quesadillas, chimichangas, even vegetarian choices. A kid's menu, desserts, and salads, a tasty, budget-pleasing selection for you and your family, unlike any others, should be your first and only choice for authentic Mexican all throughout the tri-state. Ashland, Greenham, Grayson, Paintsville, Canova, South Point, Olive Hill, and Cannonsburg. Tres Hermanos Nunez, the best around. What was 16 is now five. 
And we've got a really good basketball game going on here. As the Knights try to hold on down the stretch. Over the NFL, the first game of the wild card weekend, Texans leading the Browns 17-14 down in Houston. Three thirty-two to go in regulation. Stock still back in the basketball game. Jaden Lloyd still on the bench over there with those four personal fouls. Colby Gray has been big here in the second half, and Akil Covington draws the foul. That's his third team's eighth, and then I put Colby Gray to the line for one plus the bonus. Gray leading the way with seventeen points. Gray had only two points in that loss to Bryan last time out. And that one's in and out. Those 17 are a career high for him. Previous was December 2nd in the loss to CIU when he dropped 14 points. So a new career high for the junior from Bowling Green. Can it go down with a win? Three minutes to go in regulation. Shot clock's at five. Here's Covington, feeds it off to Sites, and he finishes off the window, and it's down to three. 66-63, and the Knights will have to burn a timeout to try to get the basketball in. They've got one remaining. It's a full timeout. We'll step out as well back at 60 seconds on Cool TV. Kentucky Christian University is a private, nonprofit university located in the beautiful foothills of Eastern Kentucky in Grayson. KCU offers both undergraduate and graduate programs, including the Teacher Leader Master of Arts in Education degree. They also have an array of competitive sports. Kentucky Christian University is committed to focusing on Christ while helping students build character and prepare for their future careers. Visit kcu.edu to learn more or to schedule a visit to campus. Not only is State Senator Robin Webb proud to support and congratulate our youth in all their endeavors in and out of the classroom, but your State Senator Robin Webb is also proud to support and work for all the adults in her district. Robin Webb strives to put forth the best for youth and adults alike. Whether it's in Frankfurt or here at home in her district, know that Robin Two fifty-three to go in regulation. This game was a 16-point lead at one point for the Knights. They've led it by double figures much of the second half. And all of a sudden, we got ourselves a very tight ball game as the lead is down to three. And KCU with only one timeout remaining. Foul situation is this. KCU is... They've, uh, or well, I should say TMU is in double bonus. KCU's in, they've got eight ag against TMU, so we're shooting free throws no matter what. It just depends on whether it's a one or two shot foul. Any foul shots for the visitors will be two shots. Knights need a bucket on this trip. Here's a handoff gray. Knifing his way to the basket, slams on the brakes. Now to the board, seven on the shot clock. The board wants to attack. He's going to have to shoot it, try to force it inside to Northington. Don't get it away. Chance to tie or cut it to one on this trip. Here's Seitz with a teardrop. No. Gets his rebound, left hand. It's down to one. Seitz with an even eight, four in each half. Gray comes across the midcourt stripe. We got two minutes to play. And Seitz goes out and issues the foul, his second team's ninth. So D'Angelo Stocksteel will step to the line for the first time today and shoot one of the bonus. Wrong team. You got to turn that one off first. There we go. So Stock still 14 points in the basketball game, a 25% free throw shooter, and that one's in and out. Defense. 
And a timeout requested by John Yeh. So a minute 51 to play. The Bears can take their first lead since back in the early part, and I mean the early part, of the first half. They led it 2 nothing. Took a 3-2 lead on a K.J. Riley free throw at the 18-37 mark. And from that point, it was all KCU. They had it out to 16. With 4.45 to go in the half, they got outscored 11-2 to end the second, in the first half. KCU's had it out to 15 in this half. That was at 11.42 when it was 53 to 40 or 53 to 38. They last led by double digits at the 532 mark. That was 66 to 54. And it's been an 11 0 run by the Bears to cut it to one. They've got a bas got the basketball and a chance to take the lead. Possession arrow favors case you in the event of a tie-up. Both teams are in double bonus the rest of the way. Riley nearly loses his balance there, and John Ye burns a timeout to save the possession. So now, so both teams now with one timeout remaining. Who can coach it up the best here in the final minute 38 of this one? You look at the numbers. KCU shooting 43%, nearly 47% from the field. Troy McConnell at 41. Both teams have struggled from long range. Troy McConnell 17 of 59 today from the charity stripe. KCU 13 of 16. They missed their last two. 20 turnovers for the Bears, 17 for KCU. Bears out rebounding KCU by 131-30. Three players for both teams in double figures. KJ Riley leads the way with 22. 16 of those coming here in the second half. And it goes back to that dunk that he had. It was almost like that surge that Kind of sparked this Bears team as they're trying to complete the sweep here for the men and women's doubleheader. Head back to Cleveland, Georgia with two wins. Women kind of come from behind victory over the Knights, 64-57 in the earlier game this evening. Back underway we go. DeBoard swipes that one out of bounds as they try to go to a kill Covington. Nine on the shot clock. Okay, so they took the clock to 137. They said the clock did not start on the, the possession, so it takes one second off the, sh the shot clock as well. So now he's saying nine seconds on the shot clock, 137 on the game clock. Got to pretty much got to get it in quick and do something with it. Hand off, yay, yay spins, goes to the left hand off the window. No, Stock still claims the rebound. His ninth of the ball game. He's one away from a double double. We're inside of 90 seconds to play. Knights with the ball and a one point lead. Jaden Lloyd coming in on that last timeout. 
playing with those four personal fouls. King Joyner. Stockstill wants it on the post. 10 on the shot clock as it goes back to Lloyd. Lloyd tied up. Out to DeBoard. DeBoard has it raked away. Long three. Good if it'll go. It won't. And Covington clears the rebound. We're inside of a minute to play. Covington attacks. He's fouled on the way to the rack. That was on Colby Gray, his fourth. Or did they get that one on race to board? They got it on the board. So it's on his, his third as well. Akil Covington, 69% free throw shooter for the senior out of Athens. Missed his only free throw attempt here in the second half. A chance of a three point play. Pushes the first one up and tickles the twine and flies through, and we're tied at 66. 48.4 seconds to play. Possession arrow favors KCU in the event of a tie up. Both teams have one timeout remaining, both teams shooting double bonus. One more for Covington. And he got it. And what was a 16 point lead is now gone, and it's a one point deficit for the Knights. First time they've trailed since early first half. Here's Lloyd to the rack, up and under, scoop shot move, no good. And Lloyd hit the deck hard. So they'll put the ball on the sideline for the inbound. So K.J. Riley, 22 points, 14 rebounds. Has his second half performance been enough to will this team to a come from behind victory? Down 16 on the road. Covington comes across on race to board. Slaps his arm away from him right in front of the official. Here's Ye, curls it out in the corner. Spot up three from Ortega is good. And it's a four point lead. Lloyd inside, stock still off the window, good with 4.6 seconds to go. D'Angelo Stock still gets his 16th. But what a big three ball there by Rulo Arias Ortega. And it's a two point lead with 4.6 seconds remaining. I wonder if my producer got the replay of the three. Not a chance. She hates instant replay. Hates it. Like, like the Grinch loathes it. I don't get it. Oh well. What a game this has become. So the Knights out of timeouts now. And here's the situation, you gotta quickly foul and not allow hardly any time to get off the clock because even if they go to the other end and hit both free throws, you have a chance to grab it, get it to the other end and a quick three. But you have no timeouts. So I think that's something that Coach Charlie Pack's drawing up right now. Here's the situation. If they miss the second one, you've got to do this. If they hit both, here's what we have to do. And on the other side, John Ye is telling his team, if we hit both, give them any drive they want, but do not foul on a three-point shot. They've got to hit one first. Here's a time that you would love to see a much needed turnover. All right, out of the timeout, here we go. They get it into Ye, and of course that's the guy they would want to get it to, an 85% free throw shooter, only .8 seconds comes off the clock. So Jaden Ye, four of four from the free throw line. He hits both, and 
You can put this baby in the books. Freshman from Cleveland, Georgia, averaging 11 and a half points a game. But that big number there on the right of your screen, 85% free throw shooter. First one's on the way is nothing but net. That makes it a full one possession game. Corey Sides will check back in for Covington. Now in the event of a miss, you've got to understand, you've got to get the basketball and go. And yeah, he puts it through with ease. 3.8 seconds to go, and that was going to be the dagger. 72 to 68. King Joyner from the volleyball line puts it up. It's no good, and that's your final. Truett McConnell comes from behind and wins at 72-68. Post game, will we return after this on Cool TV? Rev up your autumn adventure and refuel at Clark's Pump and Shop. Make a pit stop and treat yourself to our assortment of snacks and drinks. Clark's Pump and Shop has the perfect treats to satisfy your fall cravings. From our seasonal lattes and iced coffees to specialty donuts and desserts. Don't just fuel up your vehicle, fuel your taste buds at Clark's Pump and Shop, your ultimate road companion. Clark's Pump and Shop. Return, refresh, refuel. If you're looking for a complete discount pharmacy with old-fashioned service and excellent prices, look no more. Since 1979, Stultz Pharmacy has provided our area with the finest in pharmacy care, 24-hour emergency prescription service, free delivery, and drive through service for prescriptions. Stultz Pharmacy continues to fill all of your expectations. They carry a nice selection of gift items. For hometown service, see the professionals at Stultz Pharmacy in Greenup. More than you expect from a pharmacy. Stultz Pharmacy. River Cities Builders is a licensed general contractor specializing in commercial and industrial projects, and they have a history and reputation of providing top-notch expertise through their experienced and devoted workforce. River Cities Builders also is a gas facility maintenance company offering petroleum equipment maintenance and EMV compliant upgrades for smart payment terminals, and they offer 24 hours, 7 days a week emergency service. Call 606-473-4112 or visit River Cities buildersinc.com when you have business away from home or a planned event far from your comfort zone, you're probably going to need a little help. Let a and Porta Potties assist you with all your portable toilet needs. Whether on a construction site, planning for an outdoor wedding, or any other outdoor event, a and Porta Potties are here to assist you. a and Porta Potties also rents out storage containers, office containers, cooling fans, tables, and chairs. a and Porta Potties, there is no event too big or too small for us to accommodate you. Final score here, 72-68. Truett McConnell comes from behind, down 16, and they still want away here on the road. Joining me now, head coach for the KC Knights, Charlie Pack. And, Coach, we were just talking right there before we came on. That dunk by Riley, that flipped the script, and it just seemed like it gave them that surge that got them going there late in the ballgame. It did. We, we run a set there, and he jumped the passing lane. The slip was wide open, and we just – we we – Left too big of a gap there, and he jumped him. Wing got a dunk, and it changed, seemed to change the momentum. And we just could never get in the back in the flow. We had some looks, had a layup or two that just didn't fall. Missed some foul shots. You do those things. I mean, we miss uh, Kobe missed the front end of the bonus. Uh, D'Lo misses the front end of the bonus, and then you know that keeps the lead around three to five. And then we get on to make those foul shots. They they just kept getting confidence. They hit a uh, great great drive. I think by five he finds a corner on a hammer pass and. He hits that and gives them a lead and just kind of took the wind out of our sails. And the offensive rebounds, you know, you guard, you guard, you guard for 30 seconds and you give up offensive rebounds. And it just takes the winds out of your sail when you're, when you're trying to stop runs and, and trying to hold on and win. So that's kind of been our theme. We work on it. <laughs> and uh, I feel like we're, we're super close. We're competing with everybody in conference. We just got to figure out how to win. And that's on me. And um, – I'm a guy that's going to go back to work, and we're going to try to figure this out. We're getting better. We're executing. It's just it's tough. I hurt for my kids because they do put in a lot of time and effort, and sometimes I think they're 
they think I'm frustrated at them, and I'm not. I'm just frustrated for them because I want them to see the fruits of their labor and, and, and the rewards of their hard work because they are working hard, and we're working hard. And I feel like we're heading in the right direction, but we sometimes when you're heading in the right direction, you still need to, 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 to experience a W here and there. The 16-point lead, do you feel like that it might have been one of those deals took the foot off the gas maybe a little too soon, or was it just – some things started going sideways, and they just never could find an answer. Well, they kind of come out in that pressure. Um, and then when we got it across half court, it was just like we were a little slower getting into our offense. <laughs> we kept telling them when we were running the ball screen, we just never did recognize it. They were switching the guard onto our big, and we wanted the ball to go to the post. And the field behind was always open to jam it there because they were helping. And we just never did recognize that, no matter, you know. And, and that's just part of being young and, and learning those situations. And um, sometimes maybe I talk over their heads sometimes. <laughs> uh, and, and that's on me. Um, but we do work that stuff. We work those actions. So um, it, just, it just takes time. And uh, there's no microwave to success, and we know that. And we're, we're just going to keep working. We're going to keep grinding, and hopefully we'll figure it out. Well, some positives today. I know I talked about this during the game. 13 of 16 from the free throw line today. And I know that's some of the games that you and I have talked that have come up on the losses side. That number's not been anywhere near that. So, um, you like to see the effort there. You got three guys that finish in double figures. They Kobe Gray, career high, 17 points. Uh, he really got going there in the second half when you needed him. When Jaden got into foul trouble, D'Angelo was so huge. He had 10 there, like, boom, in the first quarter, or first half, I mean. And – it seemed like that he was still a part of the game. They just couldn't find a way to get the basketball to him. Yeah, that's. they were switching, and uh, they started switching more. And so it took away some of the easier options. So then that's when we really needed to go to the field behind or just back it out and jam it in there. And then we have some actions when the ball goes to the post, and we felt like those could have been really effective. We just we just never recognized that. And that, that, that's on me. Um, and um, But like I said, we'll, <laughs> we will work. I mean, I, I have no question about my guys working, and um, I just feel like I let them down today, and uh, we'll we'll just get back at it. It's it's this one hurts, this one stings. <laughs> you can't let this one burn too long because you got to turn right back around. You got a good team Tuesday coming yeah. in here in Union. Yeah, Union's really, really, really good. Probably, probably the one through five, probably the best five. Uh, them and U Pike are, are really solid, and we're gonna have our hands full. If we don't box out, they will shoot till they miss. Um, so, um, but we'll be prepared, and my guys will fight. I don't, I don't have any question about that. They'll fight, and we'll, we'll cra uh, scratch and claw, and we'll try to make it a ball game. And uh, I think we'll do so. Uh, you know, I, I just believe in my guys. I, I think we're close. <laughs> we're close, but. Coach, we always appreciate the time coming up. Win or loss, you're always up here talking to us, and we greatly appreciate that. We'll see you again on Tuesday night. Right, thank you. Coach Charlie Pack joining us here in post-game coverage. We'll take our break. We come back. We'll look at our numbers and wrap it up here today from Grayson. 72-68, come for behind win for the Bears. We'll finish up in post-game after this on Cool TV. At First National Bank, we strive to make every person that walks through our doors feel like family. Because to us, you are. For over 120 years, we have lived in and served the families of Kentucky with genuine care through the good times and the bad. Come and see the difference banking with family can truly make for you at any of our seven locations or visit our website at www.fnbgrayson.com. First National Bank, member FDIC. When you want real, authentic Mexican menu items, you want Tres Hermanos Nunez. Accept no substitutes. None compares. Fajitas, tacos, burritos, quesadillas, chimichangas, even vegetarian choices. A kid's menu, desserts, and salads, a tasty, budget-pleasing selection for you and your family, unlike any others, should be your first and only choice for authentic Mexican all throughout the tri-state. Ashland, Greenham, Grayson, Paintsville, Canova, South Point, Olive Hill, and Cannonsburg. Tres Hermanos Nunez, the best around. Kentucky Christian University is a private, nonprofit university located in the beautiful foothills of eastern Kentucky in Grayson. KCU offers both undergraduate and graduate programs, including the Teacher Leader Master of Arts in Education degree. They also have an array of competitive sports. Kentucky Christian University is committed to focusing on Christ, 
while helping students build character and prepare for their future careers. Visit kcu.edu to learn more or to schedule a visit to campus. Not only is State Senator Robin Webb proud to support and congratulate our youth in all their endeavors in and out of the classroom, but your State Senator Robin Webb is also proud to support and work for all the adults in her district. Robin Webb strives to put forth the best for youth and adults alike. Whether it's in Frankfurt or here at home in her district, know that Robin Webb puts you first in all of her decisions she makes. State Senator Robin Webb strives harder every day to make Kentucky a better place to work, live, and have fun. 72-68, your final score here in this one. Let's take a look at our final numbers. For Truett McConnell, 43.4%, 23 of 53 from the field. They go 5 of 20 for 25%. Both teams ended up 25% exactly here from the beyond the arc. 21 of 33 from the free throw line, 63.6%. KCU 13 of 16, 81.3%. Interesting number, though. Truett McConnell shot double, plus one of the free throws that KCU attempted today. KCU shot 16, Truett McConnell 33. And it was in both halves of the basketball game, KCU was always uh, behind on the, the free throw numbers. And it just never never was uh, the case of, of being here at home for sure. 20 turnovers for the visiting Bears. They finished with 33 rebounds, 10 of those in the offensive glass. KCU 31 total rebounds, 17 turnovers. Individual numbers look like this. K.J. Riley leads the way, 22 points, 14 rebounds. He went off. Uh, he had a big second half, 16 of those 22 coming in the second half. That was sparked by that big dunk on that turnover there at midcourt. E.J. Smith throws in 13. Jaden Ye had 12. Colby Gray, a career-high 17 points for the Knights. He finished with six rebounds as well. D'Angelo Stock still 16 points, nine rebounds. He had 10 in the first half. Lamar Northington dumps in 11, eight of those coming in the first half. With the win, the Bears go to eight and nine on the season, six and seven in conference play. KCU falls to five and eleven and four and nine in conference play. Back at it Tuesday here in Grayson, a men and women's doubleheader with Union, the Bulldogs coming to town. That's a five thirty tip off, five ten pregame show begins with countdown to tip off here from Grayson on the Cool Hits Sports Network. A big uh, hat tip to my crew, our executive producer Felicia Carrier. And our camera op operator, Cam Bryan, they both got fired about three times a day, and it's usually about two more than normal. So I don't know if we're going to keep them around much longer. Just kidding. Uh, they do a pretty good job. Uh, like I said, I'm, I'm a perfectionist, and I don't like to see mistakes, but um, we're, we're still some of the best in the business. And I'll, I'll take my crew against anybody anywhere today. Uh, big thanks to Charlie Pack, as always, coming up. Win or lose, he always comes up and talks to us. We greatly appreciate his time and all the great folks here at Kentucky Christian University. So the Bears go uh, back home. They get a uh, sweep here on the road with two wins over the men and women. The women get it 64-57. The, the men, a come from behind victory, 72-68 over the Knights. For Felicia Collier, Cam Bryan, all the great folks at the Kuwait Sports Network, I'm James Collier saying good afternoon, good night, and have a great rest of your weekend, everyone. Thank you for watching another KCU Knights basketball broadcast live on Cool TV. This broadcast of Kentucky Christian University basketball has been an exclusive sports presentation of the Cool Hit Sports Network and Cool TV.